The day has finally come. Hurricane Dorian has left us alone. We're as ready as we can be. If we don't got it, hopefully we can buy it or we don't need it. I know, Dad. Oh. So, as you can clearly tell by the international showing here, we've made it. So we've shown up here, we're in, where are we at? We're just south of Richmond, Virginia, not far from North Dinwiddie, which is where Virginia Motorsports Park is. The car is here, the trailer is loaded up with entirely too much stuff. Scott is already doing what Scott does, is why I bring him, because he does all the work. And I just sit here and look good. Anyway, it's like 11 o'clock right now. We're gonna go inside the hotel, crash out, get some sleep, get up bright and early. I'm trying to leave here by 4.30 to get in line for tech by five so we can get a jump on the day and hopefully get a couple test hits in and maybe produce an eight second time slip for y'all. So it's uh, 6 a.m. We've been in line for tech. As you can see, there's a shit ton of people here. When we got here, this is the first tech line, but we got here and the line is all the way out to the road at five in the morning, which is a lot more than it was last year. Yeah. So uh, we're sitting here discussing strategy, current situation, the trailer will not fit with the race tires. The suspension is completely bottomed out. Full disclosure, taking a lot more crap than we did last year. Why is your face so washed out? Because I'm old. Oh, it just sees it's reflecting off my hair. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you tone down the chrome head a little bit. It's fucking up the light. A little right spray now. painted later on. So we're just waiting for the gate to open. We got a couple hours, and then uh, we'll hopefully breeze right through tech with zero issues. Let's hope. But for now, we're just gonna walk around, and catch up with some friends. used to run an eighth mile like you're just in third gear for a little bit so I was like I feel like I need to shift again what am I gonna do I was like checking my phone <laughs> read the Wall Street Journal writing a memoir oh man that felt good feel good yeah good. 863 at 100 and what 59 159.3 we went 163 last year that's not even close to it. No time in we still got more power left on this thing so this class could be in trouble 
got us a race car. Yes. Off to a good start so far. <laughs> At least for a racing. As you see, it's off to a, a green beard here today. A really nice start. It's a bit moist out here. I don't think we're doing any racing today. Uh, Rice bags for that. We are moments away from starting off the driver's meeting, which we're going to handle over the PA here from the tower. So gather where you can hear a microphone. This is going well. Uh, okay, so they two hours or so rain delay, better actually more than that. It's been a while. Yeah, about a three and a half hour rain delay. And because of that, they've elected to make this a one and done deal in order to get everybody through the lanes and get us finished on time to get on the road. We get one hit. That's it. So it's time to make it count. We left the same tune up in. We were going to get a little more aggressive with it from what it was yesterday on the hit, but. Given that the track got crazy wet, we decided not to do that. The good news is we're gonna be the fourth pair of cars down the track and I get to race these crazy bastards right over here with the Cresta and the Barra powered car, which is actually really, really cool. So let's make it count. transmission into first gear all the way. So when the light came down and I grabbed the trans brake and floored it, it rolled the beams starting the clock. Remember this is a one and done deal there. And I tried to salvage the pass as best I could, didn't even know I was in second gear, just thought the trans brake didn't hold and I floored it, um, pulled second gear and pulled third gear, came around and got a 15 second time slip. Bob's your uncle, I'm pissed off now. Uh, so apparently I don't take losing very well. That's news to me. I was crushed. Didn't have any chance of being in competition. No chance of making the Crazy 8 shootout. Probably zero chance of actually having fun because all I'm gonna do is stewing over my stupid mistake and dwell on it. I learned a lot about who I am as a person. Not a million years did I think I was that competitive until I was taken out of the competition. And that sucked. It was like getting punched in the gut. Um, so we elected to withdraw from competition from drag week and 
head home with my head hung low. I would rather save my equipment than go out and beat on it for no reason. And so the, the transmission deal, yeah, I was unsure of what the, the condition of the transmission was after launching it somewhere in between first and second gear. I took the car home, checked over the transmission. I did find the shifter linkage uh, was definitely out of alignment. I fixed that, loaded the car up, and we were heading back to BMP. So this is the deal. We're gonna salvage as much of drag because I can. Scott had to leave town to go to a wedding, so I made my buddy Jason here. You guys will be seeing his nine second Silverado, no, Sierra, excuse me, his don't call it a Silverado Sierra on the channel here at some point. Um, I got a whole bunch of gifts, i.e. t-shirts, to hand out, and I'm gonna track down everybody that's helped me on Drag Week. I'm gonna pay back the favors uh, that have been given to me to try and get a little bit of karma, if you will, good karma for Drag Week. And we're gonna turn it up and see if we can make a Hail Mary pass and see if we can get that elusive 850 or better that we've been looking for. I'm trying to make the best of uh, a bad week. So Drag Week has become Drag Day or two. This is Jesse. I always put your name, man. Madaffrey. 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 The, the most helpful guy on all of Drag Week. Last uh, year, you lent me a compression tester. Oh, okay. um, Truth be told, it I broke was, it. I was going to say, it didn't look this pretty. No, I broke it, so I got you a new one. And then you also lent me one of these. Oh, yeah, I remember that one. Uh, that also came apart in all the smithereens, so I brought you the best one out of my tool. Okay, box. well, good. It looks, <laughs> looks like the original one. And then also a t shirt just for being a the nicest human being uh, I've ever encountered in my life. Well, so you, you don't meet a lot of people. <laughs> <laughs> no, I appreciate it. Get your address in this book. I did not, but I will. Okay. Next person. So this is Brian, another, he's not even a Drag Week participant. He's just here for the love of the sport. Last year, I'm walking across the parking lot in Bristol, Tennessee after killing that thing. And he just looks at me and goes, you look like you could use a ride, bud. And I was like, sure could. So he picked me up, took me to the parts store, got us the parts that we needed to get ourselves back on the road. And then this year, he provided delicious frosty malt beverages, which by the way, were very, very good. From the truck. Beaver Island. Beaver Island Brewing. The stickers are now on the car. To show my gratitude. Clapped off shirt for you, sir. Thanks, Ray. Thank you. Good luck today. On to the next. Right now, it's all about the socks look at these things look at that dude sock game is strong dennis knows this is john freel this is the gentleman that stopped on the side of the road scooped up my wallet and all my personal information chased me down through the damn mountains of western north carolina to deliver it back to me this is me paying everybody back this year for drag week karma thank you thank very you. much okay looking so forward to seeing you next year with the marauder right i will have it next Hell year yeah. now there is kind of a funny story about picking up your billfold the okay. one that the world really doesn't know but i think your people will appreciate it yeah. so we whip off the, the corner yeah i see the billfold go flying in the street yeah. i jump out of the car my buddy mike jumps out of the car forgot to put my belt on i'm running down this middle of this road grabbing money in your billfold and my shorts hit the hit the ground and I almost <laughs> fall down and I'm like wow this is really impressive pulling shorts up grabbing money yeah yeah we well I appreciate we do it. everything for you buddy yeah <laughs> so this is this is what it's about again like drag week the whole thing the kindness from strangers at the time and then these people that become your probably lifelong friends through events like this so I appreciate it man thank you hey anytime anything for you buddy so you see a little bit of everything here at hot lot drag week to include Vans with turbos on them. I mean, I could appreciate this kind of build. But wait, there's more. Two of them. Yes. Double your pleasure. Fisher in the Grand National. Double your fun. Not sure what it runs, but it's damn cool. Cheer. This is Blake Downey. Last year, Blake came in clutch when we torched the cylinder head in Bristol. Uh, he's been reminding me of it for a year now. He had a valve spring compressor tool for an LS motor that I did not have. Lent it to us, no questions asked. Because of that, stickers. Sticker. This is all coming out of my clapped out pay, which <laughs> they don't even pay me, so it doesn't even matter. And one of the no time Gapple Juice shirts. We are literally, we trademarked the Gapple Juice logo on the front, and we literally have a letter from a lawyer representing 
asking us to kindly retract our trademark. We were like, you know what? Nah. Hmm. Well, this might have just got interesting. Hey, Jason, Mike pulled up. Get the laptop. <laughs> predictions. Pre predictions for this race, sir. How do you think it's going to go down? Uh, I don't know. I might be too tired for predictions. <laughs> I'll let you go first. I'll take it easy on you. Cheers. 